Check, check. Hello, hello, happy Monday, everybody. Welcome. My name is Ollie with Bega Tricks Entertainment. Thanks for joining us for some general knowledge trivia tonight. It's just after 9 o'clock on Monday, July 27th. In case you were wondering, I often forget. Uh, we are going to play some trivia tonight, so thank you so much for joining us. Before we go any further, let me just tell you, if you haven't yet, make sure you join the online game in order to actually participate, in order to have your answers graded, uh, you need to join the online game. Here on YouTube, you'll be able to follow along, listen to the questions, you'll hear and see me read them, but to answer, open up any internet browser, go to online.bagoftricks.com and enter in the code TRICKS. It's very simple, TRICKS, T-R-I-C-K-S. Once you've done that, you'll see a screen that looks a little bit like this. It's gonna ask you for two pieces of information wants to know what name you want to go by tonight that could be your name or a team name whatever you want and then what state you're playing from if you're in the United States if you're not just let us know what country uh, or whatever you want it doesn't matter it's just for fun uh, hit go and you're all set that's all you need to do once you've done this you're in you're set to go we're gonna get the game started here in just a couple minutes uh, but once you see this screen you're all set so <laughs> Uh, thank you once again for joining me. My name is Ollie with Begatrix Entertainment. I am joined tonight by Taco and my beautiful fiance Gina behind the keyboard talking to you guys in the chat. So please, if you're not already in there, join the live chat on YouTube. Uh, it's fun. You can you can do stuff other than just answer questions. You can have some fun there and interact with everybody else. So thanks for being here. We are going to get into the game in just a minute or two, but I want to tell you what's coming up this week tonight. We just finished Music Bingo with the incredible Henry JBC. Thank you, Henry, so much for doing that. Thank you to those of you that were there participating tonight. Music Bingo is always a great time. Um, Bobby K will be back next week. He won't be doing it this week. He's taking a week off. But then we have Pink Floyd Music Bingo and Dave Matthews Band Music Bingo. I've already seen a lot of people going crazy about that one. So don't miss it. Both Facebook events are up now. So click on those. Make sure you click that your RSVP is interested or going and fill out the form so that you get an actual music bingo card emailed directly to you um but that's next week this week we have general knowledge trivia coming up right now we have excuse me uh we have general knowledge trivia again on wednesday at nine o'clock and then on thursday we have a special harry potter trivia night his birthday is on friday july 31st so we're doing harry potter trivia on his eve of his birthday on july 30th sponsored by the incredible elmhurst public library which means we'll have some great prizes up for grabs we're doing that at 7 p.m all these times are central uh 7 p.m on thursday and then nine o'clock one more general knowledge trivia night with categories chosen by this week's donation drawing winner so check all of those events out they're on facebook you can rsvp make sure you get any updates make sure you register the, for the ones you need to like the elmhurst uh, harry potter trivia or music bingo next week we have a bunch of great fundraisers coming up over the next few weeks and shout out to everybody that was there on friday for our leukemia and lymphoma society fundraiser uh at last tally i have it here in my text messages we raised two thousand three hundred dollars $2,300 virtually doing trivia with those raffle prizes and this, this online game because of you guys, you incredible folks out there who donated so much to such a great organization. Thank you so much for that. Um, we have a lot of great fundraisers and, and other great events coming up over the next few weeks and months as long as we're doing these online events, which is not stopping anytime soon. So thank you all for being here. Thank you to those of you. I just saw a donation come through. Thank you to those of you that have donated to Big of Tricks Entertainment. You'll see the links down below. I'm not going to talk about it much. We accept donations or tips via any of those links, Venmo, PayPal, or Zelle. We really appreciate it. These online events, we don't charge to play. They're free for you, um, but we do graciously accept any and all donations or tips you'd like to send. That helps us offset the cost of 
putting on these events. Uh, unfortunately, they're not free. We have to pay for the trivia platform that we use, uh, and it's a lot of time to make them. So we really appreciate the donations that you guys sent. Um, somebody sent one already, and I didn't see the name. Uh, Crystal, Crystal, thank you, bless you. Thank you so much for the donation, Crystal. We really appreciate it. Thank you to everybody that's donated ever since we started doing this. We will be choosing a donation drawing winner for this week. For Thursday, you'll get to choose the category, so start thinking about it now. If you donated last week, you might be the winner. I'll send that person a message either tonight or tomorrow and let you know. With all of that said, we are going to get into the game here in just a second. Let me flip up into the... Well, I will in a second. Uh, this game tonight is a mixture of multiple choice questions and fill in the blank or, or text questions. So we're going to start out with multiple choice that's exactly like it sounds. I'll read you a question. I'll start a timer. And just for everybody out there, make sure you're listening right now. The timer is 25 seconds now. 25 seconds. I think 30 has been a little bit much, especially for multiple choice uh, after we, we caught somebody cheating red-handed last week. Um, so we're going to give this 25-second timer a, a go and see how that, how that works out. So everything else is exactly the same. Once I start the timer, you'll see it start ticking down. And as it goes down, the point value will also go down. So there's a few things you need to know. In order to answer a multiple choice question, all you have to do is click on the answer you believe is correct, either A, B, C, or D. It's always one of those four, and you don't lose points if you're wrong. However, make sure you read your answers because if you click the wrong one, you can't go back and change it. If you click B, you can't change it to C or D, etc. Once you click an answer, it's in. You can earn up to 150 points if you're correct, but you earn points based on how quickly you answer. So the sooner you click that button, the more points you earn if you're correct. So don't dilly-dally. If you know it, click it. If you don't, think about it and then click it. But always click something because you don't lose any points. The questions will change in a little bit uh, to a different style, and I'll explain those when we get to it. But right now, you know, honestly, we're going to dive right into this. Uh, thank you, Misha, for the donation. Thank you so much. Hey, thanks, Jessica, for the donation as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So we are going to do a practice question tonight. But before we get to that, let me remind everybody one more time, if you haven't yet joined the online game, online.bagoftricks.com, enter in the code TRICKS, online.bagoftricks.com. Let me see who's out there. Ooh, the comments are moving. Hey, Christiane, what's up? Hey, Chris B. Hey, John J. What's up, my friends? Hey, Nick Payne. How's the Mongol slaying going? Ghost of Shishima. I haven't seen Nick. Yeah, Nick Payne's out there. Hey, Jeremy, happy late birthday. Uh, you and what, Walter Payton, right? Happy birthday. Hey, Kim Wheatley. Hey, Albin. Welcome back. Hey, Amy. A lot of friends out there. Hey, Lindsay Davis. Hey, Jess. Crystal. Misha. Karen. I'm not reading anything you guys are saying. Rich Hansen. There's a name I haven't seen in a while. Welcome back. Is Jen Sterna here tonight? I have a vegan question. Jennifer Sterna. Paging Jennifer Sterna. Or Allison. Or Allison, yeah. I got a question that has to do with being vegan. You'll see. Uh, but anyway, with all of that said, make sure that you've joined the game. We're going to do this practice question. It's going to look and act like the rest of the questions, and then we're going to go right into it. So uh, actually, one last thing to say. Today is National Scotch Day. So cheers, everybody. I have a monkey shoulder here. Whatever you're drinking, that's fine. Water, coffee, alcohol. Cheers. Thanks for being all here. All of the above, as I like to just mix it all together yeah oh no. three glasses yes 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 Ooh, that's good it is really good ah, that was the end of the bottle unfortunately Look at this. i know she's in a hammock all right here we go first question coming up as always this is a practice question so it's not worth any points this is just for you to learn the system what is the name of your host today tonight right now what is my name? What is the name of your host? Uh, this is not worth any points, so give your best shot. Is my name Sonny, George, Mike, or Ali? Sonny, George, Mike, or Ali? Emily Riley, happy birthday week. Sharing a birthday week with Harry Potter. Somehow you survived. Yeah, Jeremy, I was following your, um, uh, your trips to all the breweries and the microbrewery group, and you, you made the rounds, my friend. Everything looked fantastic. Uh, your mother-in-law is vegan, Christiane. Get her in here. We got one vegan question. I mean, you don't even have to be vegan to answer. I just did I it. I want to know the question. Yeah, it's nothing special. I'm building it up. Um, but uh, <laughs> I just knew that there are some people out there that are vegan. 
Uh, Nick doesn't have any scotch in his apartment. Well, Nick, you're like six steps from a jewel, right? Go grab some uh, some scotch and come back. All right, everybody's in. Great job. If this was worth points, 32 of you would get them because you answered correctly. My name is Ali. Thank you very much. These are all famous boxers. Sonny Liston, George Foreman, Mike Tyson, and Ali Bay. <laughs> Not a boxer. All right, here we go. Now the questions count for points, so give it your best shot. Question number two. Some of these, I, I haven't said this. Some of these are easy. Some of these are tough. They're just kind of mixed in here, but they're all worth 150 points maximum. And if this is your first time playing, the picture that you see or the GIF that you see for these multiple choice questions is not specifically related to the answer. It's just there for fun. So don't read into it. It's just there to keep you entertained. Here we go. Number two. Uh, before Hamilton, what 2008 Tony winning Broadway musical did Lin-Manuel Miranda compose? What is the name of Lin-Manuel Miranda's 2008 Tony winning Broadway musical? Is it Rock of Ages, Spring Awakening, In the Heights, or Rent? <laughs> 95% of it nice hey Sarah what's up from the East Coast Becky I don't have scotch for tr time for trivia I'm googling the difference between scotch and whiskey it's just whiskey that comes from Scotland uh, it has to come from Scotland to be called scotch uh, everything else you know there, there's different things you have to do but realistically scotch is just Scotland whiskey And it's often very peaty or smoky, depending on where you get it from. Uh, most of you got this right. I listened to this the other day for the first time, actually. I really enjoyed it. The correct answer is In the Heights. In the Heights. This one being made into a movie uh, with the, I don't remember his name, but the guy who played um, Philip. Some of us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So many of us thought that your vegan question was like, you just, you had a question about being a vegan. And then it took us all a minute to realize you had a question in tonight's trip. Oh, yeah. No, no. I don't have that's any questions. Like, What's the question? <laughs> I don't have any questions about being a vegan. Um, that's. I understand why you'd think that, though. That's fair. There's a, there's a trivia question tonight that has to do with being Anthony a vegan. Anthony Ramos says John Jay. Thank, Thank you, John. John. Yeah, he's he's playing the lead in the, in the Heights adaptation. Sarah, on the tablet tonight. Okay, that's cool. Thanks for letting us know. Mm, scotch. Whiskey. Yeah, Chuck. Charles. That's the other difference. They spell it with an E here in America and uh, not so much anywhere else. Uh, question three, this gift. Uh, which of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles' primary weapons are a pair of Psy? Who fights primarily with a pair of Psy? Is it Raphael, Michelangelo, Leonardo, or Donatello? Chuck is accepted. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, I, I knew a couple Charles, and they always went by Chuck. That's why I went to Chuck. Uh, Becky, flavors of sc scotch include wood, leather, fire, and dirt. Yes, that sounds amazing. Yeah, this is a terrifying gift. It's supposed to be. Oh, shit. Uh, I'm sorry, John. I didn't even think about it. The colors don't match. I know it's over, but let me do this for you. Is that better? Is that better, John? I feel for you. I, I, I'm not being sarcastic. That would mess me, around, <coughs> mess me around too. There we go, you're welcome. Uh, and 50% of you got this right. Michelangelo has the nunchucks, which every kid wanted. Michelangelo had the nunchucks, Leonardo, the katanas, Donatello with his bow staff and the smarts. Uh, Raphael, the angry one, had the sigh. Sigh. Great for impaling, but he never impaled anything. It's a children's show. Uh, great job. Number four. Major League Baseball, MLB, observes Jackie Robinson Day. In which month? In which month does Jack uh, does Major League Baseball observe Jackie Robinson Day? Is it June, April, July, or May? Uh, Becky, <laughs> thank you for the donation for Scotch Facts. I'm here all night. I'll give you plenty of Scotch Facts. I enjoy a nice blended Scotch whiskey. Single malt, it's just like a lot of like coffee. Like coffee blends are delicious. Single origin coffees are delicious. But I think s s blended Scotch got a bad rap for a while. 
Okay. People think that they just make bad scotch. Like they're just trying to make it. Yeah, good yeah. Food, like, I, I think that in America they do that a lot, but in Scotland a lot of times they treat it as an art. I'm the blending, that. yeah. I like red blends and like wine. Yeah, right. Like red, the red blend was the best wine I ever made. All right, you guys are in. Correct answer here, the Ides of April, April fifteenth. Um, so as far as I remember, this is the, the day that Jackie Robinson made his debut. Um, so April fifteenth. Every every month every year in April. Lots of whiskey. Hey Maggie Wimp. Hmm. All right. For whiskey here, we really don't know what it is. That's crazy. We'll have to send you some whiskey, Christiane, if I can sneak it over the border. Number five. Here's another creepy gif. What is the name? In the, the traditional game, what is the name of the patient whose body parts are removed in the board game operation? If the individual that you are operating on has a name in the game operation, what was his name? Cavity Sam, Hypochondriac Henry, Under the Weather Willie, or Sick Steven? I don't like any of those names. Uh, Jeremy, Jackie Robinson Day has to be the most confusing day to be a broadcaster because everyone wears 42 on their uniform. Yeah. Up next, 42. And on the mound, 42. This guy had a name. Yes, he did. Seems that, yeah, no, for real. Remember the rubber band on his, um, was it his knee to his thigh? Or his knee to his ankle? Putting the rubber band, like stringing it on was as hard as taking, probably harder than taking it off. Yeah. All right. Let's see what you thought. Uh, 24 of you said Cavity Sam. That's my nickname in high school. Seven of you said Hypochondriac Henry. Nine of you said Under the Weather Willie. Nobody said Six Steven. Uh, and it was not Six Steven. It was Cavity Sam. Good job. Good job, everybody. Tough start tonight. Uh, so let's just take a drink to being five questions in. Cheers. Uh, and we are going to look at the standings for the first time. Here we go. Oh, yeah, Canadian whiskey, Crown Royale. I do like Crown Royale. That was made when the, the king and queen visited one year in honor. Uh, a while ago, obviously. Uh, let's take a look at the standings. If you're in first, second, or third, you're going to be on top of the screen. It's Nudie Magazine in first. Sarella Sand. She's on her iPad, but oh, she's in yeah. second place. May I see your manager? What's up, my friend? Hey, Tommy, in third place. Everybody else rotating through. There's Taco. We're trying a different angle on the taco cam tonight. Take a look, see where you're at. What's up, Jen Widener? Who's out there? JMO, Emily, Reg, Chatty Angelica Bitches, Toucan? No, Toucan't. A whole numero uno right there, top 10. Hey, Rich H55. I like seeing that team name out there again. Learn Fern again. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, let's see. All right, you've all seen those scores, so let's move on to question number six. Oh, Jen Stern is here. Jen Stern is here just in time. I think the vegan question's coming up soon. Soon. Not this one, but soon. All right, here we go. What's up, Jen and Jen's husband, Sterna? Uh, that's the wrong screen. Here we go. All right, number six. Uh, which of the following individuals wrote the nonsense poem titled Jabberwocky? Included in the 1871 novel *Through the Looking Glass*, and what Alice found there was it Charles Dickens, Lewis Carroll, Edgar Allan Poe, or A. A. Milne? <laughs> I need spite to power me. There you go, Rich. She's here. You've got power now. Um. Yeah, we we might do more. We talk about doing a a liquor Zoom. Yeah. Because Charles said we need a whiskey category. Yeah, yeah, we could do that. My vegan sons is enough. I'm way into that. Uh, we could do, we, we talked about it, like Gina said, doing a liquor category on one of our Zoom trivias. Um, but we have to make some of those fun shots. I made a list of stuff we need. Yeah, we do. Yeah. And now I want to flame in Dr. Pepper. I want to flame in Dr. Pepper. Um, okay, everybody's in. And this is our first social. Cheers, everybody. Lewis Carroll, uh, Alice through the looking glass. Alice in Wonderland. Great job, everybody. Jabberwocky. Happy National Scotch Day. All right, number seven. <laughs> You're all going to berate me for calling this the vegan question, but it is what it is. Uh, number seven. 
Which of the following famous brand snack foods, so you've heard of these, is not vegan? As far as I could find in my research, three of the following four options are vegan. One of them is not. Which of these is not a vegan snack food? Is it Oreos, Kraft Marshmallows, Fritos, or Nutter Butter Cookies? What did Chris say? Oh, don't worry, we'll tell you. Chris said, we have friends that are celebrity YouTubers. Oh, I love that. That's really cool. Vegans with opinions. All right, everybody's in. I'm just looking at one thing. Sorry, everybody. Yeah, yeah, good to know. Uh, the correct answer here, it is not Nutter Buddy. Nutter Butters, Nutter Butters. Um, are technically vegan. The correct answer is Kraft Marshmallows, which I'm assuming is gelatin, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, gelatin, you know, you take some pig hooves and you grind it up into some powder and then you sprinkle it into shit. It's delicious. I doesn't sound great. All right, here we go. Great job, everybody. Thanks for being here. I love that Oreos are vegan. I know. Not that I'm a vegan, but... Did you ever read how Oreos were a complete ripoff of a brand that... Uh, was around before them. Hydrox? Hydrox, yeah, yeah. Anyway, Oreos are delicious. And there's no Hydrox birthday cake double stuff. Okay. Well, now I'm hungry. <laughs> Number eight, the Battle of Midway took place during which of the following conflicts? Was it World War One, World War Two, the Korean War, or Vietnam War? <laughs> Becky, we'll see if I'm right or slowly poisoning a child by accident. <laughs> uh, get yourself some dandies and make a vegan s'more. It's delicious. Hydrox are better than Oreos. Sarah, I've never had the Hydrox. Was he? Wait. Uh, I didn't mean to be. This GIF wasn't supposed to be a trick. I just used this GIF whenever I don't have a good GIF available. Um, but we have a crispy social. 11 of you said World War One. 29 of you correctly said world war two cheers everybody oh i get it because world war two was saving private ryan mm -hmm. and tom hanks isn't saving private ryan i didn't mean to do that but you're welcome jeremy mm -hmm. well done. and a crispy social as jeff thought uh question number nine the song eastbound and down was the theme song to what 1977 action comedy starring burt Reynolds, the song Eastbound and Down, the theme song of which of these 1977 films? Was it Cannonball Run, The Longest Yard, Gunsmoke, or Smokey and the Bandit? <laughs> Yankee Doodle. I think I've only seen the Adam Sandler Longest Yard. I think Burt Reynolds cameos, or he's in it. I don't think I've seen that. Ooh, that's fine. It's not great. <laughs> uh, everybody's in, and you guys did very well. The correct answer here is Smokey and the Bandit. Good job, everybody. What is this gift? I'll take Jason. Oh. Oh, it's that celebrity yeah, SNL. I'll Ape take a uh, ape uh, tip yeah. for two hundred. <laughs> Give me ape tip for two hundred. Oh, I'm having fun. I hope you guys are having fun. Question 10, if you suffer from chorophobia, what are you afraid of? If you suffer from the real condition known as chorophobia, what are you afraid of? Is it heights, balloons, clowns, or snakes? Becky, surprisingly, I am not a Burt Reynolds movie soundtrack enthusiast. Well, get on it. Uh, Cannonball Run 2 was the only movie in the medium place, remember? Is Cannonball Run 2? I think so. 
Wasn't that the correct answer? I'm pretty sure. Okay, Karen says yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Mindy had it. All right, correct answer. Let's see. 36% of you said balloons. 60% of you said clowns. 25 of you said 25 people. 60% of you said clowns. Uh, the correct answer is clowns. If you have cholerophobia, you are afraid of clowns, and you are not alone. A lot of people apparently have it. Your sister is a cholerophobic. Mm -hmm. I can tell you story about why. Oh gosh. <gasps> oh my god. Oh God, yes, Jess, I remember. Remember when that was the worst thing we had to worry about was random clowns <laughs> showing up places? Oh my God. And that went nowhere. They just went back to the circus. Oh. They all got into one car, all 40 of them, and left. Yeah, no, it revenge. Those were the days. What, what month are we? June, I, uh, July. July. I think oh, clowns sorry. are scheduled for October. Oh. Um, I think that's when the clowns start reappearing according to the 2020 schedule that I saw. Um, yeah, murder hornets. We have clowns Karen in a few said months. At least they had masks on. Masks on. Oh Jesus! At least they had masks on. Yes. <laughs> oh yeah, Nick Payne. You should show some people your Halloween costume. Oh God, Nick Payne, don't ever do that. Uh, all right, one more multiple choice question. Number eleven. Uh, what is the capital city of India? The country India. What is the capital city currently of India? Is it Jaipur, Calcutta, New Delhi, or Mumbai? Yeah, Jess, remember when we thought 2016 was bad? Yeah, 20, I mean, well, the Cubs won the World Series. That was amazing. That was the good thing, and then, and then everything, everything went downhill. Else. Yeah, David yeah. Bowie. Everything else. And that was God. the end of the year. The capital is I. Ha, 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 Chris. You should go on a comedy circuit with that. I actually like it. Oh, I love that joke. It's so bad. It's actually really, no, it's actually a really good joke. <laughs> I, know, I, know. <laughs> I love a good bad joke. It's uh, an eye roller. It's a knee slapper. Uh, the correct answer now, correctly, today, it is New Delhi. New Delhi. Good job. 25 of you got that right. Uh, all right. Let's take a look at the standings. Killer Clowns for Outer Space is on Netflix if you want to watch. It's incredible. Um, who said that? Crystal, 2020 was trumped by 2016. For the worst year ever. Crystal, amazing. Uh, let's take a look at the standings, and let's take a look at Taco, who has passed out. Uh, currently, Chatty Angelica pitches in first. It's Nudie Magazine Day in second, and May I See Your Manager in third. <laughs> All right. Uh, let me change a few things here. Okay. Check on this chat. Hard pass. If you've never seen Killer Clowns from Outer Space, you should watch it. Um, we started it, and I was like, turn it. We off. did? You put it on for me one day. That doesn't sound like something I do. You hate scary movies. That nah, sounds like something I do. <laughs> remember when Nick Payne and I watched Trick or Treat? No. <laughs> Nick you. Payne, you remember that? Watching Trick or Treat with Gina? She still hasn't forgiven me. I hate you both for And I think it was your suggestion. Oh, he just... I remember drinking tons of beer to, like, try to be drunk so I wasn't scared and, like, staring at the wall. Yeah. Oh, no. 2016 clown sightings. Don't do it. I'm doing it. Don't do it. <laughs> all right, here we go. Uh, let me tell you all what's coming up. So we no longer have multiple choice questions. I think all of you know this. I don't think there are any new people out there, but let me just tell you, we're going to switch over to text questions, which means you have to type your answer in. So when I start your timer, rather than seeing four options pop up here on the screen, you're going to see a text box and you have to type the answer in. You're still going to earn points, but now you earn all of the points if you're right and you earn none of the points if you're wrong. There's no in between. So take your time. You have 25 seconds. Just get your answer in before the timer hits zero. 
that's it. Uh, you know, just try to spell as well as you can. If your answer is close, I'll give you points. If it's not close, I won't give you points. Uh, it's that simple. Uh, the first five questions that we do are from one round. It's a mini bonus round, so all five questions have to do with each other. Uh, they're all from one category. Let me say it that way. For these first five questions, did Jen Sterna? It was not Jen Sterna. I looked up who it was. It was nobody that I recognized. Hopefully they don't come back. Uh, so for the first five questions, the category tonight is movies or actors or TV, however you want to look. It's entertainment. How this is going to work for the next five questions, I'm going to name off a list of actors or actresses who have all portrayed the same character on either TV or movies. So, for example, um, if... For the question, I said, name the actor or actress who is, uh, I'm sorry, name the character that was portrayed by the following actors or actresses. And, and then I said, uh, Sean Connery and Pierce Brosnan and uh, Daniel Craig, the answer would be James Bond, right? So some of these will be pretty simple. I think some of these will be tough, but again, you don't lose points if you're wrong. So take a shot, even if you're not sure. So here we go. That's the next five questions. They're all like this. Here we go. Number 12. Name the character portrayed by all of these actors or actresses. George Clooney, Adam West, Michael Keaton, and Val Kilmer. All portrayed which character? Was that the night of the mouse rescue? I think it was. That was Oh, and Parker. Yeah. Well, my scotch is gone. Can you even hear me? I think we have that. All right, let's see what you thought. Yeah, I mean, as long as you gave me Batman or Bruce Wayne. Yeah, so everybody that got an answer in before the timer ran out, so that's the trick. As long as you sent your answer in with time, you got points, and the correct answer was, I'm Batman. Batman, the correct answer. Oh, Taco is looking cuter than ever. Let's just look at him. Uh, all right, here we go. Same type of question, but new character, uh, new new actors looking for the character portrayed by all of these actors or actresses. Who played, uh, who was played by Leonard Nimoy and Zachary Quinto? What character was portrayed by Leonard Nimoy and Zachary Quinto? Is that enough for you? Yeah. <laughs> Amy, I know I missed a few trivias lately, but I'm missing the periodic table. We did one last week. Um, we did a periodic table question. You know what? Uh, Amy, will you, you'll you be here on Wednesday, so I'll do periodic table for you on Wednesday. Oh, Jen Stern, at least you're here for the vegan question. See you later. Thanks for being here. It's not Dumbledore. It's not Captain Kirk. Uh, app K, I feel like that's a mistype, but I don't know. Uh, the correct answer is Spock. Spock. Great job. Great job, everybody. Number 14. Name the character portrayed by all of these actors or actresses. Alanis Morissette, George Burns, Morgan Freeman. These three actors <laughs> have all portrayed which character? That's a fun one. Thank you. Misha, I think Michael Keaton was my favorite Batman, too. Oh, thank you guys for the question, love. Oh, like Is that how Questlove got his name? Question, love. No, get out of here. All right, I'll get out of here. 
Quest love. Thank you for the question love. Yeah, I enjoyed writing this one. Uh, the correct answer here, it's not Robin. Uh, so unless you put Robin, you got points here. The correct answer is God. That's a cheers. That's a social. Cheers, everybody. Uh, Lana's Morissette was in um, Dogma. She was God. Uh, Morgan Freeman was uh, Bruce Almighty. And George Burns was in another movie that I'm not remembering. Number 15, name the character portrayed by both of these actors, Alec Guinness and Ewan McGregor. Oh, I love Ewan McGregor. You just hear from my ego? Thanks, Lindsay. It's, it's like in the negatives. It's like negative 50. So you guys have gotten up to like negative 40. Thank you. George Lazenby was your favorite Batman. Uh, for, <laughs> Rich? Uh, George Lazenby. What a guy. 007, and his name is Lazenby. Maggie Wimp just found out Brian never saw Dogma. Time to break up again. No, just watch Dogma together. That's a really good movie. Break up. Oh, my God. I haven't seen Dogma in a year. We should, we should watch Dogma. Okay. There's a... Uh, so, to take you back... You know, so Kevin Smith did Clerks, he did Mallrats, and then he did Chasing Amy, and then he did Dogma. Mm -hmm. In between Chasing Amy and Dogma, they released a comic called Chasing Dogma that ties all of the stories together and like yeah. puts the time. And I read that comic and it just solidified my love for all of those films. Okay, Misha says George Burns is God. God, and oh God. Thank you, Misha. Oh. <laughs> no breakups. No breakups Breaking tonight, up please. Uh, they were not both Spider-Man, not Frodo. Some Star Wars person, yeah. Uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Some also known as Daddy Wan Kenobi. Uh, if you're into that, yeah, I could take it. I have a Daddy Wan Kenobi. Uh, Obi-Wan, <laughs> yeah, we'll take that. Uh, the correct answer is Obi-Wan. And 80, still going up. 80% of you got that right. Cheers, everybody. That's a social. All right. One one, yeah, Lindsay. I figured. I got you. I got you, girl. So, we have one more. But Maggie, really quick, you're in the same position I was two years ago with Mallrats, which is why we own Mallrats on Blu-ray. That's. And did I tell you the other day we own Mallrats on Blu-ray because I was. Try, I really wanted to watch yeah, it, I and I was trying watch. to stream it, and they didn't have it, so I Amazon ordered the Blu-ray. Yeah, I How love it that much. Come to this house, and I don't even know. Yeah, you have no idea. Wow. All right, number 16. Name the character portrayed by all three of these actors or actresses. Linda Hamilton, Lena Hetty, Lena Hetty, or and Amelia Clark. Sarah, I think you could rent it via Amazon, but like half the time renting it is like 50% or 60% of the cost of just buying it. So I figure I'm going to watch it two more times in my life at least. I'm just going to buy it. We'll just buy it. There's one movie I regret not buying on Amazon. Mm -hmm. Almost Famous. Oh, we rented it? We rented it when we watched it. Yeah. I, would, I want to watch it again already. It's fine. I know. It's a good one. Sure Legitimately mad it. that you don't know this. You'll recognize the name, I think. Guys, thanks for being here. I'm very chatty tonight. I am a chatty Angelica bitches. <laughs> I wouldn't have you any other way. Uh, they are not. Uh, it is not Wonder Woman. I'm sorry. It's not Superwoman. Wendell Hamilton. Just you wait. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's cute. That. Uh, it is Sarah Connor. That's almost a crispy social. We'll call it a close enough. Cheers. From the Terminator franchise, of which there are now 90 movies. Uh, Sarah Connor, Linda, Ham Linda Hamilton, the original, and then uh, Lena Headey and Amelia Clark, both from Game of Thrones, and, and both playing them lately. So, good job. Oh, yeah, that's interesting. Sarah spelled correctly. Nice, Sarah. Ah, oh, thanks, Christiane. All right, here we go. Let's take a look at the rankings. Chatty Angelica bitch is still in first. It's Nudie Magazine Day. That's um, that's Billy Madison, right? 
Nudie Magazine. You know what today is? It's Nudie Magazine Day. Yeah, that's got to be Chris. That's got to be Chris B, right? May I see your manager in third place? What's up? Congratulations. Holding on tight. And you can see how close the standings are right now. Yeah, we were right. We were both right. Good job. Uh, may I see your manager is only 25 points behind second, and they're only about 139 points behind first. Oh, Oh. Mm. Was on a Billy Madison kick. Yeah, I want to go on an Adam Sandler kick. Billy Madison, Happy Gilmore, Mr. Deeds, Big Daddy. Like those 90s, early 2000s. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then just listen to the, we've talked about it on here already, the Adam Sandler comedy album. The Goat. Ah, the a Goat. <laughs> All right, next round works the same, but it's a picture round, my friends. Tonight is very straightforward. I'm going to show you a picture. I'm going to ask you to identify something about the picture. And tonight, I'm going to show you a picture of a famous cartoon character. That's it. Nothing tricky about this. I'm going to show you a cartoon character. You have to type in the name of that cartoon character. You have 25 seconds to do so. 250 points apiece. Here we go. Number 17. Name this cartoon character. What is the name of this cartoon character? Yeah. Oh, cutie. Guys, I'll buy Dogma on Blu-ray, and then we'll... She's biting your cord. And then we'll just zoom together, and we'll watch Dogma. I'll just stream it on my laptop. How's that? You want to do that? Yeah. Yes, sure. Ka Katniss is eating Gina's computer cord. She is being quite the nuisance tonight. Oh, Waterboy, yes. Madula Ablengata. Scuba Steve. This cartoon is like the same shape repeated over and over again. Yes. Yep. And what a cutie pie. Turn it this way, turn it that way, yeah. What a guy. Uh, this is Garfield's reluctant friend, Odie. Odie. 77%. We're going to call that a social. Cheers. All right, number 18. Some of these are simple, my friends, and some of these are tough. Trust me. Kathy friggin' Bates, yes. What are you looking at, Swan? Here we go. Number 18. Name this cartoon character. Aww. Remember um, your love of your life, um, Cole? I wipe my own ass. I wipe my own ass. A little extreme. I mean, that's how he says it. I'm no, the sure. love of my life. Oh, no, he's the love of your life, yeah. The second love of your life, after Top Gun. Third? That's fair. What's his brother doing? Um, he owns a meadery in Brooklyn. That's incredible. Of course he does. I believe <laughs> it's a meadery. I really enjoyed putting this question in because I wanted to see all of y'all's answers. Uh, we got a couple Charmanders. We got a, a Squirtle. Two squirrels. Somebody said Google search says uh, <laughs> green a chew. Good guess. Bulbasaur. Yes. Pokemon green. <laughs> Squirrely. I can identify that it's a Pokemon. Is it Charizard? No. Baltazor. That's really close. You're going to get Baltazor. Yeah, that's close. There's no prize tonight, guys. Don't at me. Um, somebody legitimately did at me last week. Because I was lenient on an answer. So welcome to my life. Oh, yeah. We got added hard. Oh, yeah. We got added hard. That's what I get for being nice to y'all and accepting answers. Uh, people literally send us messages about it. Um, here we go. The correct answer is Bulbasaur. Bulba. Bulbasaur. Oh, remember Detective Pikachu? How cute they were traveling in the, oh, the group together? Oh, All right. Name this cartoon character. This one's for Gina. <laughs> this is internet trivia, and it is very serious. Yes, 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 it is. Jeremy just caught one of those Bulbasaurs in Pokemon Go like an hour ago. Look at that. That's Dylan's. That's Dylan's. I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Oh, everybody's in. Alright. Who's my friend? Ooh, look at all these answers. Let's see. It's not Jay, not Tweety. I got no bones. <laughs> oh, every time I say something like that. You know what movie I'm thinking of? Yes, yes. I got no legs. <laughs> Uh, the correct answer. This is the toughest one of the round, my friends. This is the toughest one of the round. This is Mordecai from, as somebody said, regular show crap, don't remember. Yeah, Mordecai and Rigby, uh, Adult Swim show, right? Adult Swim? Uh, this no, is a, just Cartoon Network. Cartoon Network, sorry. Um, but this is the tough one, so good job if you got that. The, the next two are a little bit simpler. Here we go. Number 20, name this cartoon character. Oh, oh my God. Chrissy Ann, yeah, they do. Uh, Karen, I did Pokemon Go, like two. I went through two spurts where I downloaded it and I would like go and check out all the time and try to catch Pokemon. And then I haven't played in probably like two years. You walked off a cliff and I was like, <laughs> "Is this show streaming anywhere?" Because I, I don't would know. love to rewatch this one. Internet, do you know? Misha. Uh, where are you and Ryan in Harry Potter now? I saw you say that Ryan heard me from the basement. Talk about Harry Potter trivia. Um, where are you guys at in, in Harry Potter? I think you were through Azkaban last time we talked. The fake trailer with Aubrey Plaza. Uh, so this was a spinoff from Beavis and Butthead. Mm -hmm. Oh, someone got her last name. Uh, somebody said Gina. <laughs> uh, no, Gina's much nicer. The correct answer is Daria. In high school, I felt like Daria. Though. Daria. Did you play volleyball like this? No, I think my back was <laughs> uh, Finished chapter 16. And got, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You were on Goblet of Fire. I'm sorry. Good job. All right, here we go. One more, everybody. That is Daria. Here is 21. What is the name of this cartoon character? I'm looking for the specific name of this character, not the show. I like this round a lot. Thank you so much. Oh, Thanks. You're welcome. I don't think people, people like your round. care that I write this stuff every day. So not always Everyone's great. Everyone's playing right now. Yeah, yeah. Everybody that's here right now is fantastic. One and three. This is all of the the twos out of threes tonight. You guys are a bunch of twos out of threes. We oh love you. God. You're a bunch of twos out of threes. No, 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 Lindsay. You're a bunch of twos out of threes. I'm not looking for the show, my friends. A lot of you tried. It's not Penelope. It's not Betsy. Not Doc. Ooh, Doc could have been a typo, though. I'm going to give that. And this person gave me I the first one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoop! I know she's from Animaniacs. Yes, this is Dot. Yakko and Wacko and Dot. Uh, still one of the... Hold on. So this is the kind of stuff that passed... Okay, like this is the stuff you could get away with in the 90s on cartoons. Uh, Yakko says, dust for prints. And she says, I found prints. No, 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 fingerprints. And then Dot says, I don't think so. <gasps> yeah, that was a joke on Animaniacs. Whoa. That was a joke. You can see it right here. I don't think so. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, anyway, here are the standings, everybody. Chatty Angelica bitches. <coughs> oh, it's been on Taco the whole time. Good. In first, it's Nudie Magazine Day. In second, a whole numero uno up into third. Our Canadian friend just dominating right up into third place. Congratulations. Everybody else rotating through. Take a look. See where you're at. I'm going to check on this chat here. Uh, <laughs> Jess knew about the Prince thing. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, a few people did. Rich Don't Rich? fingerprints. Yeah, yeah, Rich knew. How'd you? Yeah, you knew I was going for it. Good job, Chris. It's the male nurse, and Dot says it. Yes, Karen. Hello, nurse. It's 
It's okay, Christiane, you're there. You're there now, and that's what matters. Um, okay, so we have 10 questions left. 10 more questions. Let me switch over here. Whoa, <laughs> uh, there are, yeah, just screenshot it now while you have it. Uh, there are 10 questions left. They're not multiple choice. You have to type your answer in, but they're also not part of a category. So there's no theme. There's, no, there's nothing that they all have to do with each other. The next 10 questions are just random. You, you're gonna have to type your answer in. You have 25 seconds to do so. Some of these will probably be pretty simple. But I promise you, uh, I was on a kick today. So some of these are going to be a little tough. So give it your best shot. They're worth 300 points apiece, which means third, third place could jump in the first place with just one question. So here we go. Question number 22. I don't think this one's too tough. Let's see what you think. Um, which legendary singer crooned the Married with Children, the TV show theme song, Love and Marriage. Which legendary singer crooned the theme song to the TV show Married with Children? Love and Marriage. Did that sound just like him? Mm -hmm. Nailed it. Remember today we were cheering? Ollie's haircut seems right out of the movie Nell. What's the movie Nell? Jodie Foster. I don't get does, it. Does she have a great haircut in that movie? <laughs> I forgot that movie I'm just waiting for all these answers to load. All right, everybody's in. Let's see. Not Dean Martin, not Al Green. <laughs> uh, sixth place was good while it lasted. It was Frank Sinatra. Cheers, everybody. Great job. Number 23. Subject of the award-winning 2018 film Vice. Which former United States vice president shot a Texas attorney while out qua a hunting quail in 2006? Lindsay, I liked it. I like the sass. Peg Bundy did have a great haircut. I, like <laughs> I love this gif. I don't like it. I know you don't. That's why I watched it without you so I could cross it off our scratch off poster. Jess, yes. Remember when this got everybody up in arms? He did shoot a guy in the face with some buckshot. Yep, 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 yep. Big Al, the crooner, Misha, at your wedding reception. I love it. I went to a wedding once, and I loved it, but the, um, the DJ had a shtick where, like, halfway through the night, right when dinner was served, he turned on It's Amore. And he put on a chef's hat and an apron. And, and no, no, I'm not done. I would love that. And finger lights. So then he walked around dancing with finger lights and a chef's hat and an apron. That's okay. Uh, water pouring that or water water. It's amazing. Yeah. I love that song. Uh, the correct answer Sick Cheney. Yes, absolutely. Dick Cheney. Not John McCain. Dick, the fourth branch of the United States government. Cheney, Cheney. Yes, yes, yes. This is a social. Uh, First time anybody said this, let's drink to Dick Cheney. Oh. Number 24. Oh, Nick Payne. Well. Well. Yeah, to quote Nick Payne. Well. Number 24. Originally debuting in 1986, what popular Stephen Sondheim musical was turned into a feature film in 2014? Just looking for the name of the popular Stephen Sondheim musical that debuted in 1986 and was turned into a feature film in 2014. Uh, 
Uh, Maggie, yes, I think so. <laughs> Everybody did think he was rolling. All right, everybody's in. It's not Rent. It's not Les Mis. Not the network. La La Land or Cats. It is Into the Woods. I still haven't seen this. Well, I haven't seen the movie. I've, I've seen, seen it. The I've seen it performed, but I haven't seen the film. Uh, number twenty-five. We'll look at the standings after this. Just looking for the name of a country. Which European country was the site for the famous? Battle of Waterloo. Napoleon's famous defeat came at the Battle of Waterloo in which European country? Oh, is Bobby here now? Yeah. I am like a period better late than never. <laughs> like girls. Better late than pregnant. <laughs> better late than pregnant. Yeah, Golden Girls, right? Yeah. yeah. Hey, Bobby. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thanks for being here. Yeah, rocking and rolling. Don't be sorry, at least you're here. Yeah, hell yeah. Thanks for showing up. All right, everybody's in. It's not France. It is not France, my friends. The correct answer. Somebody gave me the capital. Uh, Belgium. Belgium, the correct answer. Battle of Waterloo in Belgium. Here we go. Standings right now. We only have a few questions left. Chatty Angelica Bitch is still in first. It's Nudie Magazine Day in second. Rich H55 with a vengeance now that Jen Stern is gone. Up into third, A Hole Numero Uno. Still in fourth place, but now that A Hole Numero Uno, uh, wait, A Hole Numero Dose is here, maybe things will change. Pick it up, pick it up. Uh, yeah, uh, Christiane, tell Brandon that Gina and Taco and I said happy birthday. I don't think we ever said that. Uh, tell Brandon we said happy birthday. We saw you guys celebrating this weekend. Eat it, Manitoba. I believe they're in Reg Regina. Regina, how do you say it? Regina? Regina. Regina. That's half of your name. It's all of your name, but half of it is your name. The city that rhymes with fun? Re that doesn't answer my question. It's like explaining to people how to pronounce your last name. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. This is a thing. Hmm. Regi it's their it, it's a it's a whoa Re regina rhymes with more words than fun there's a whole regina leader i just I don't know if i'm saying it right china regina so it's china regina it rhymes with china angina carolina messiah there's an article about how it rhymes with more words than fun And a v yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're all there. Here we go. Question 26. I put a fun gift because this is a sad question. How many American presidents have died while in office? So while they were president, how many American presidents have died? You can only answer with a number here, okay? And this includes presidents that died of any man manner, whether natural causes or assassination. How many American presidents have died while in office as of today? Get the butter. Vagina rhymes with vagina because we're in the crotch of Canada. <laughs> oh, I'm learning a lot tonight. 
All right, everybody's in. I'm looking at your Capitol building right now. <laughs> Correct answer is eight. Eight. William Henry Harrison, who we just talked about recently, was only in uh, office for 32 days. Zachary Taylor, Abraham Lincoln, James Garfield, William McKinley, Warren G. Harding, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, and John F. Kennedy. Eight presidents. Eight presidents. Question 27. What is the name of the actor who became a teen idol after starring as Blossom's older brother in the 90s show Blossom? I'm looking for first and last name here. What is the first and last name of the actor who became a teen heartthrob after starring as Blossom's older brother in the 90s show Blossom? Rich Hansen died in 30 days. You always got to beat him, don't you? You always got to beat him with a punch. Bobby, please, after trivia, take time to watch the Experience Regina video. Okay, we'll watch that. All right. We'll do it at, right I after trivia. I realize Keith Zephyr says he's from in Deadpool, and someone was trying to get a statue of Deadpool there. Oh, my God. the mayor said no. I'm way into I'm that. Okay. Oh, that was from four years ago. Yeah, you probably didn't know. I'm either really impressing my husband tonight or deeply embarrassing myself. Jess, it could be both. <laughs> it doesn't have to be one or the other. Uh, it's not Owen Wilson. But it is another person. Uh, Owen Wilson says, wow. Wow. Is that it? Wow. And, and uh, oh, no. <laughs> Joey Lawrence says, whoa. Whoa. That was a good whoa. Thank you. I got my woes and my wows I've been working on. Uh, the correct answer here is Joey Lawrence. Whoa. Good job, 65% of you. Ooh, I didn't know Ryan Reynolds was Canadian. Oh, yeah. I love his gin. Uh, number 28, the Galapagos I Islands like. are a part. I love his wife, too. The Galapagos Islands are a part of what country? Famous by, uh, made famous by Charles Darwin. The Galapagos Islands are a part of what country? I remember when Joey tried to impress a girlfriend by writing her a poem, but he wrote the words to the song, I Touch Myself. Matt Lawrence was the middle brother, and Andy Lawrence was the young brother, and they were all on Brotherly Love. I remember that. Oh, God, that they show. They worked in that garage. Yeah, they worked in the auto garage. Did they live above it or next to it, too? I think they lived in the same place, yeah. And it was in Philadelphia, the city of Brotherly Brother. Love. Oh, well, I didn't get that as a kid. Yeah. <laughs> Maggie. Rich Hansen, six, was a bad friend. Yes, she was. Maggie, Andy Lawrence was the lead, cool. least hot brother. What? Your water bottle on the screen is black. How? Hey. You don't have a green screen. I could have messed something up. Oh. Uh, Matthew Lawrence was the hottest, and Matthew Lawrence was the hottest when he was on Boy Meets World. Um, there was a scene on Boy Meets World where he like showed off his abs. He was like, "You got these abs?" Because he was, he knew, he knew he was hot. Welcome to Vega Tricks Trivia, everybody. The correct answer here is somebody spelled it wrong. A couple of people. Ecuador. The Galapagos Islands, all a part of Ecuador. All right, number 29. Uh, I need a first and last name here. Who appeared on the cover of the very first issue of Playboy magazine in 19. Bobby, I feel like we talk about hot men on the regular here. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. He was on Boy Meets World. Uh, Jess, who's improved? Andy? Andrew Lawrence? Matthew Lawrence looks really good. Like, he's the only one out of the three that I would date. Ooh, I'm with Gina here. <laughs> I literally just typed Ali truly appreciates hot men. <laughs> yeah, I'm with Gina. Listen, they're all doing their thing. But um, in 2020, I'd go with Matthew Lawrence. Hell yeah. I would have bet. He was always my favorite, though. I always, yeah. He's jo a cutie. Yeah, Matthew Lawrence was always the cutest. Nobody can argue that. He kind of looks like he should be in a goofy movie. <laughs> 
Because he's cute. Oh, he, Cheryl Burke? He's married to Cheryl Burke? He okay. is married. Going down a rabbit hole. He just got married in 2019. Okay. Was he in... Oh, he was in Superhuman Samurai Squad. Uh, okay, anyway. Um, here we go. Everybody's in. First issue of Playboy. Ooh, somebody tried to trick me with her real name. You know what? You're getting points anyway. Ha! <laughs> Could you imagine Hugh Hefner being on the cover of the first issue of Playboy? Welcome to my <laughs> Just with his robe, just slightly open, like, open it up to see what's inside. <laughs> Ah, no, it's Marilyn Monroe. Norma Jean Mortensen. Somebody said Norma Jean. You got points. 86%. That's a cheers. He out there like Oprah. Cheers, everybody. We've been watching a lot of Shameless, so I'm on my own old style kick. Cheers, cheers, cheers. All right, number 30. This one's tough, I think, unless you work in a eye doctor's office. The strength of prescription eyeglasses is measured in what unit? What is the unit used to measure the strength of prescription eyeglasses. It has its own name. Boy Meets World is for sure streaming. I think Disney Plus. Okay, sorry. I'm just catching up, everybody. Joey was on Melissa and Joey. Yes, 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 yes. Amy JK watched America's Secrets The Playboy Mansion on Netflix. Is that a documentary? You know I love documentaries. Uh, Maggie knew this because she was obsessed with the girls next door. Yeah, this is tough. Uh, I would I would be surprised if more than five people got this. You know what? Oh, Chris. <laughs> Some of them got to be tough. Yes, Holly. Thanks, Amy. I'll have to watch that. I saw the Legends of Hidden documentary. I watched that as well, Danielle. Very informative. That is correct. All right. The correct answer is diopters. You measure prescription glasses in diopters. That's your pluses and your minuses. Diopters. Not gigawatts. Eyeball points. I like that. Coke bottles. Gremlins 2. Micron x-rays. Olimorphs. Thank you nerds i don't know but i'm negative 4.5 damn you're looking good mine's like negative nine on this eye yeah it's bad i basically i can't see not sure i can't see it <laughs> all right question 31 final question which movie was mistakenly named best picture at the academy awards the oscars in 2017 so they <laughs> yeah thank you this chrissy teigen was for you which movie was mistakenly named Best Picture before being corrected at the Academy Awards, the Oscars, in 2017? It's like the most, like, you could just hear her going, uh. Ah, <laughs> yes. Oh, that was so cringe. I, I think we were like, Amy, screaming. Kurt says it's a documentary in the loose sense. Okay, okay. That was so. Who mistakenly oh, yeah. read? It was that old guy. Was it, um, was it Kirk Douglas? No. No. It was just so sad for the Ah, uh, it was Warren Beatty. Oh. Sad for the winning movie because it was then so anticlimactic for them. Right? And I like how the, so the individual from this movie was up there and he, he had to convince everybody like, no, I'm not joking. Here's the card. Oh, God. My gut hurts just thinking about it. Um, so... The correct answer here, yeah, not Moonlight. It was La La Land. They called La La Land as the winner, but it was Moonlight. Moonlight actually won. So those of you that said Moonlight, don't worry, you weren't far off. Uh, La La Land is what was correct, uh, what was incorrectly called. Uh, should have been Steve Harvey. <laughs> was that Miss USA? He called the wrong woman. <laughs> And then you have John Travolta. John Travolta. Get it together. Jim. Coming up to the stage, Adele Dazeem. And have you ever seen him, like, um, grab her face? No. He's a whole rabbit hole himself. Hang on, everybody. I got nothing but time. Okay. 
I just saw this today for the first time. I don't know if this was just after what happened. How awkward. Are you seeing this? I wish I wasn't. Ugh. Like she's a little girl. Yeah. Make it, make it go away. It's gone. Anyway, Oscar flubs. Uh, the correct answer was La La Land. Okay. So, uh, thanks for sticking with us, everybody. This has been an interesting Monday night. Long weekend. Long Monday. Thanks for being here. Thanks for playing Music Bingo earlier. Those of you that were there, thanks for playing General Knowledge Tribute tonight. Don't forget, we're not on here tomorrow night. But this is one thing I didn't mention earlier. We do have some in-person events. So if you're in the Chicago suburbs and you want to play some trivia, you want to venture out, you want to do some things in person, we do have options for you. Tomorrow night is Tuesday. So you can play friends trivia if you're a fan of friends we have friends trivia at pollyanna in saint charles and at two pints lounge in bolingbrook both places tomorrow night tuesday on wednesday we have general knowledge trivia at nine but if you feel like doing something before then nicole or jen, jen stern is gone but they've been out there before at pollyanna in lamont we're doing harry potter trivia because it's harry potter's birthday this weekend uh, and then on Thursday, if you're a fan of music, play some music bingo at Two Pints Lounge in Bolingbrook. Misha, thank you so much. I want to say this while we're on here. Uh, you've been supporting us for so long. And thank you so much for going out to Two Pints Lounge and, and playing trivia the last few weeks that they've had it. We really appreciate it. I hope you've had fun. I know the drinks and the food there are delicious. So thank you for the support. Uh, and definitely everybody else, check out Two Pints Lounge every single Tuesday. This week, Friends Trivia. Every other week, General Knowledge Trivia. And then this Thursday, Harry Potter trivia online with me at 7 o'clock. With me, Ali B. With me, Ali B. DJ I.A. <laughs> All right, that's it. Let's find out who the final winner is tonight. Uh, we have some fun stuff coming up in the future. Tonight, my friends, no prizes. I apologize. We're just here playing for fun. But I promise coming up in the next few weeks, we have some fun stuff uh, emerging. You'll be winning some fun stuff. So here we go in first place and second place and third place it's nudie magazine day everything switched Woo. rich h55 and second chatty angelica bitches in third congratulations everybody that played tonight thank you oh you can't see it uh thank you so much for being here thank you so much for playing trivia thank you so much for supporting bag of tricks i saw some more donations come through um while we were doing this i hate to leave them out um but i can't do i can't multitask um, so thank you so much for the donations. If you feel so interested, the links are down there. I got to show you Taco because he's nesting. Uh, we will be back on Wednesday for more general knowledge trivia. Please join us. Please come hang out. Taco will be happy if you do. Until then, please be safe. Take care of each other. If you're in the Begatrix online community, please keep posting shit, guys. I wake up every day and I'm so happy to see new posts. And I know. There's a really cute puppy waiting for you. In the I have not seen it and I'm so excited. Uh, we will do a Zoom trivia this weekend and uh, secret surprise we may do two zoom trivias coming up in the next week Ooh. yeah i'm excited we don't have much going on this week so i may i may come up with two fun things that we're going to do on zoom um so if you're not a member of the online community please join uh you know if you want to have some fun until then that's it be safe have a good night take care of, take care of each other and wash your damn hands bye guys